What's up, my friend? I love Sis Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. For those of you who did not see part three, this is part four. I created a new playlist called The Daily. So everything that have to do with Brooklyn will be on that playlist. Now I might just leave, you know, can, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go through the Real House of Atlanta playlist and I will include the entire journey okay so it's gonna be her difficult pregnancy all of that all the way up to you know Brooklyn being born and all of that so you guys can have just a place to come and just click play and follow her journey from beginning to end when she announced her pregnancy all of her pregnancies updates all of those videos will be added to the playlist called the dailies since she's no longer on the show I didn't think that her videos should be in a mixture of the Red Housewife of Atlanta pile. On uh, this video, also have to do with Brooklyn. Even though in this video she's talking about the reason why she was disappointed to leave the show, but because it's about Brooklyn as well, I am going to go ahead and put it on the playlist called The Dailies. Okay. I'm also going to incorporate some older uh, images depending on what she's talking about because you guys know I like to make the videos visually appealing. So I'm on people.com and the title reads, Kenya Moore was disappointed to leave the Real Housewife of Atlanta but is open to coming back. Never say never. If the price is right, <laughs> let's not forget that. Basically, the beginning of the article is just talking about, you know, they had to set the story up, you know, how she had desire of wanting a family of her own, a child and all of that. And now she finally have that. Basically, that's what it's saying in a nutshell in that little section right there. Let's move on to what Kenya Moore actually had to say, okay? And basically, it broke my heart, but with all the stress I went through with this baby, I don't know how I could have done it, okay? I said that. This is a blessing in disguise. To be on that show, you have to clap. You don't have to, okay? But... You're not going to sit there either and just watch people talk to you crazy. So that's going to lead to clapping back, going back and forth. Had anything happened to Brooklyn, some of those same people would have said there was never a Brooklyn anyways in the first place. And that Kenya Moore made it all up. Like the one who said Kenya should go and pee on a stick. I'm not even going to entertain her and include her in here. Let's just keep it. <laughs> keep it positive and keep moving but yes they wouldn't have taken responsibility for adding on to the stress and it would have been well it's because she lied so much she didn't have Brooklyn anyways and that's why now she's claiming you know she had a miscarriage you understand what I'm saying how disgusting people are so I'm glad she wasn't on the show it was a blessing in disguise for her to have a healthy baby girl now and she's doing well Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. The new mom exclusively tells people in this week's issue, opening up in an interview for the first time about her exit. Even now, breastfeeding every three hours, changing diapers, being up at all hours. I just don't think I could have been present. There you go. And then they continue talking about how she had a high risk pregnancy. We already covered all of that in the other videos, okay? So I'm just going to go to where, you know, she's she's speaking. Well, her quote. It was really scary, Moore says. I really think that things happen for a reason. Even though I was disappointed to not come back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, I feel like it's the best thing that could have happened for my baby. A man they were at a standstill for so long okay everyone was rooting for her and wanted to see her back even women like nanny leaks and portia williams who haven't always been on team kenya the cast producers bravo they all know she's good for the show but it got messy she just refused to compromise Another source close to reality star put it differently, explaining that Moore knew her work, had her priorities set, and wasn't interested in bending to producer's insulting offer. Uh, I agree with part two, <laughs> which is true. And that's exactly what happened to 
to Kenya. You know, Kenya was like, wait a minute. Okay, so I did not want to show my husband. I wanted to build a firm foundation in my relationship before bringing him on camera. Now I'm open to showing my husband, showing my pregnancy, showing everything. And y'all ain't gonna pay me? Yeah, mm, no. I, I think I just sit this one out, and I don't. I don't blame her. <laughs> You know, most of you remember Kenya Moore's statement was, I have decided to take this season off to focus on my high risk pregnancy in a healthy and dream in a healthy and drama free environment. I thank Bravo for this amazing platform that has allowed me to grow, flourish, and appreciate the value of what is truly important in life. Duh, just just class. Class. Because other, it would have been, first of all, the contract didn't go good, good, so I quit. Exactly. <laughs> That's how you do it. So when they asked her if she would consider coming back, she responded, never say never. Hopefully, things will be able to work out and viewers will be able to see me come full circle. Everything has to align for me, too. She adds, uh, yeah, absolutely. The check got to be right. You have to respect my wishes on limitations and how much I'm going to show my husband. And if you can't do that, deuces again. <laughs> Housewives like Candy Birds and Cinder Billy have already made a trip to meet Brooklyn, which I included in the last video. Since her birth, for more sharing a gallery of photos of their visit, I posted that. Uh, Kenya uh, responded, Everyone has pretty much gotten in touch to congratulate me and our family. More says that even includes former housewife, uh, Sheree Whitfield, who famously feuded with Moore on her husband's Atlanta. She says, Sheree gave me a ring to say congratulations. I thought that was very big of her. Come through, Sheree. I have really amazing loyal fans. Come through, Team Twirl. Yes. <laughs> They are just so pro all things Kenya and Team Twill. She says, I've seen all of the posting. Okay, girl, you, you have you? And everything they've been doing. Mm, I hope so. Talking about me, talking about them more get sentimental. She, oh, ooh. talking about them more get sentimental. She's content with her decision not to film this season of Hovers Atlanta, but she still wishes things could have been different. I wish I could have been able to give them what they've waited seven years to see. All the hell I've been through and all of the disappointments, all of the frogs I've kissed, I finally just have everything I've dreamt of. So it's been a journey. And to be able to see me as a mother and a wife, I know it was important to them. Didn't I say that? I said Kenya Moore will come back because of her team twirl and nothing. All right, so there you have it. I'm not going to continue to drag this video on, but like I said, I'm very excited and happy for Kenya Moore and team twirl. Told you guys that she be watching, okay? She cares and she appreciate every single one of you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, my final loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post your where that I posted, and I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.